me. Guess what today is? We're gonna do some painting to my console table and I've got a little bitty DIY project for the top of the table, not just for any DIY, a Dollar Tree item. We never think about using, we're gonna to add to the top of it. So let me get myself straightened back up and let me get all organized and we will get started on this project for today. Okay, hang on. Okay, was that not a corny introduction or what, y'all? Sorry about me that. Me being my goofy self, I guess. But, in, but anyway, today, I'm going to be uh, altering my console table. I've had this table sitting in front of the bar area, and I started taking the things off of it, and I will show y'all a picture, maybe somewhere here, how I had it decorated. But since we're moving in a couple weeks, I actually started packing things up. But once I got everything off of the table, I noticed that the bottom part was looking, it was got this yellowish coming through the paint. I'm not sure if it's the glue coming through the paint or what's going on, but I'm like, no, 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 no. That ain't gonna, that's not gonna work. Nice looking at all. So I thought, well, I love the top. And the reason what brought me to this table anyway is the two tops. Actually, tone. believe it or not, I only paid $30 for this beautiful table at Ross. I'll abbreviate the story. Uh, around a year ago, around this time, I was browsing through Ross and I saw, and I saw this table sitting there. No, I didn't see a price sticker at the time on it. And just so happened someone was walking by and I asked him how much was it? And it was the manager and he told me that actually a customer had just put it in their cart and as she was taking it to the, to the front to pay for it, it fell off the cart. So it has some damage done to it. And I thought, oh, that, that little damage. And I'll show you, I had a little, little bit of crack in it. I thought, oh, well, I could do it. I'll get my hubby to look at it. And I said, okay, well, how much was you want? He said, oh, $30. So I said, sure. I'll take it. Well, he took it to the front and it's been with me ever since. I really want to give it a fresh coat of paint at the bottom and do a little something, something to the top. And y'all will really like this idea. Actually, I'm gonna flip it upside down. I'm gonna get to painting just the bottom. Let me fast forward through all of that. And once it can, once I get a dry coat to it, I'll flip it back up and we will get to DIY on the top. Y'all will love this idea something that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. That's the only hint I'll be you. using this Waverly White chalk paint. The reason I'm going back white is because I love the gray and white look to it. That's what actually drawn me to it. Well, I can go ahead and repaint it white for now. And I may distress it a little bit. So I got my sanding block and I got another couple other like different color grays of chalk paint that I may try to stress it a little bit. Yeah. Let me get all the things situated and we will get to painting and I cannot wait to do the top. Okay, so hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I turned the table upside down and this is what was on the table, y'all. Right there. $139.99. $139.99 for this table and I paid $30 for it. <laughs> Got somebody down here helping me. <laughs> I knew this wouldn't be a big project, so that's why I'm using this little, this one right here. It ain't gonna be that big of a project. Okay, all right, I got it all done. Fresh coat of paint on there. It looks so much better. I am pleased as punch on how it turned out, you guys. I really, really like it. And uh, so much cleaner. I love how the white, bright, looks so clean. Now I'm gonna take my sanding block and I'm gonna hit the corners a little bit until I decide on if I wanna add a little bit more gray to it. but. Hey, it's okay, we can always add it back later, but I just wanna show you all what it looks like. Oh, and here's a peek of my new rug. I bought a new rug for my patio. A future project, but at least y'all got to see that. <laughs> okay, there's my babies. <laughs> and yes, a little supervisor. 
Okay, I'm gonna take it back inside and we're gonna get to working on this top. I'm so excited about it. Okay, I'll, I'll meet y'all inside. Okay, here is my table. I went ahead and put it back in the area that it was at. This is how I had it. Now, I went ahead and took the sanding block and I scuffed up the paint a little bit because I didn't want it to look new. I still wanted it to, like, because it is bright white, I actually wanted it to look a little aged somewhat. So I just took my sanding block and hit the corners and things like that. I will revisit this at a later date maybe when I get moved in, because I'm actually running out of time, to be honest. I'm thinking about, I'm going to distress it with some paint, and I want to throw a coat of wax, since, it, you know, for chalk paint, um, and just give it a little bit more durability, but I will probably do that at a later date. So, this will be a continuous, but we'll, we'll catch up with that later. We are going to do a little something, something to the top here. I love how this top is. You can see it's like a it's like a deep well. Oh, let me show y'all a little spot that had the boo-boo. And right there it is. But I, I'm not worried about that. It wasn't nothing. So her lost my game because this table was $139 and I paid $30 for it. I love getting good deals. What I'm going to be using to decorate the top of my table is... This. Yes, I'm going to be using this nautical rope. It's the 13 foot. It's from the Dollar Tree. I've got a gazillion of these. Now, if you're going to duplicate this, look out because they Dollar Tree started the new ones actually is nine foot. So they reduced it down some, but I'm using the 13 foot size. I'm not sure if they just started making them a smaller amount, but Still, you know, it doesn't matter. Still a dollar. You can't really beat the value. I love these nautical ropes. And since it is summer and I'm going to be doing some nautical decorating, that's where I want to bring this table into my nautical decor by adding this rope. I'm actually going to put it around the inside right here of the table. But anyway, I am going to get my glue gun. Because I don't want anything permanent, per se, you know, to um, alter this. So, I'm just going to get my glue gun. And we're going to glue my nautical rope all the way around the inside on this lip right here. On the lip here, on the inside of the lip. We're going to glue the rope all around on the inside. And I think it's going to look so good. And I'm so excited about doing it. Okay, I'm going to start. I got it all undone. I'm going to start with a corner, and I'm probably going to start. Let me bring y'all in a little bit. Sorry. Okay. Probably going to start back here in this corner right here. All right, let's get my glue gun out. That's when a cordless will come in handy. And I'm going to start. Y'all can't, I hope y'all can see that. It fits perfectly in this little groove. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I'm not worried about damaging this. Because glue, it, it will, you know, hot glue will, you know, like peel right up. So, I'll back you a little bit more. Oh my goodness, this is looking so good. And as I'm going, I'm kind of pressing it in, really, really pushing it in to make sure it holds it. But I um, love it. It's almost like it was made for this rope. All right, okay, I don't wanna get my gun to start cooling down on me before I have to put it back on the charger. Y'all looking for a good glue gun, y'all. These. Now, these sure bonders are they are awesome. Love this one. 
but I got another one I had picked up at, and I cannot find it. I had bought it. I bought it at Home, Home Depot, and I cannot find that sucker to save my life. Probably in the storage like everything else is. Okay, let me turn you around. We'll look the other way. Hang on. Well, guys, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. When I told y'all to hang on, I guess I did not hit the button for record. I'm so sorry. Well, as you can see, I've already went around. I went the back side where, before I left y'all, I did the corner and then we're on up. So we're making our last little round to finish it up. But I'm not sure if it picked up on any of it, but I was telling y'all one time I took a mirror and I did it almost the exact same thing because it had like a, a little canal like this here. And I did it for a mirror. Now that looks so good. Okay. All right. I've got, y'all, I was telling y'all on the, that didn't get recorded that I've got so many good projects coming up. I'm doing a, a, my office uh, when I get moved. I'm doing a whole office series. I'm redoing my, I'm doing my office from, uh, from scratch. I mean, we're going to go shopping together. We're going to get a table. We're going to get some chair, you know, office chair. We're going to do, you know, I promise we're going to do so many good videos. I've got a lot in store coming up. So make sure you got your notifications turned on so y'all won't miss anything. I mean, y'all to see my uh, YouTube planner. This means good content coming. Good, good content. All right, as now I am rounding my corner, which means I'm almost done. But look how great it fits in this little groove. I, was it not made for that? <laughs> Okay, I am rounding this last little corner. Okay. So that's why I wanted to start in the back here on this back corner. That way I can kind of hide when I connect them. You know what I'm saying? Right, let's get some like, glue off my hand. And I, what I'll probably do here, I'm so sorry this light is kind of dingy right here, y'all. Sorry about that. I'll probably kind of just, um, just put some glue in it and take the tip of it and try to mash it together because I don't want to touch it right now because this is hot, hot, hot. I just burnt the crap out of my finger a while ago. Okay. Here we go. And that way it'll seal together. And that's exactly why I want to start at this corner. So I can kind of hide that. Probably what I'll do now is I will take one of those long candle lighters and kind of go around and get these little little pieces here. But I gotta be careful because I don't want to burn or scorch my table. I absolutely love it. It looks so good. And on 13 foot, y'all, I still had a, quite a bit left of this rope. So, I'll lose that for the next project. <laughs> okay. Does that look, I mean, look at that. That looks like it was made for this rope. Look at that. Something is... is Easy as this gave this table a whole new look. Well, now let me go get that candle lighter.
Oh yeah. Actually, that kind of like sealed it down in there even better. Oh, yes. I've got to get most of the packing done this weekend. Tell you, I've got a lot to do, but it ain't going to be like, you know, it was when we first moved in here. Coming from a 3,500 square foot down into this <laughs> um, apartment was, oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all remember that? <laughs> that was a, oh my goodness, it was crazy. Alrighty, I think I'm just about done with getting these little pieces off. Just thinking what y'all could do, um, things like this with, you could have used ribbon, I could have used different kind of, um, rope, I could have painted this rope like a gray if I wanted to, and I love this natural color to this rope, as most of my home decor is the gray and the natural colors. So um, it's a perfect match for the rest of my decor. You can go get you um, anything and do little, add little things like this to it. You'd be surprised what it will add much more texture and dimension and bring your project to a whole new level, you know? All right, you guys, well, that is it. That is turned out beautiful. I love it. It's perfect. Okay, all right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now. I'm gonna try to bring y'all up, kind of dust it off, put a cute little, couple of cute little things here, and we're gonna bring this video to a close. I am absolutely over the moon. It looks so good. It's almost like this was made for something, like made for this rope to be in that little canal. I love it, love it, love it. And here, right here is my little corner, y'all. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of tweaking here, but it's not that bad I'm trying to work on that. But besides that, where I could have done a better job on that, I'm not worried, but just take a look at it. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna push it back against the wall. I'm gonna put something on here to, to kind of put a little decoration on it. <laughs> <laughs> and close this video out, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way because I got paint all over me. I look like a mess. Y'all know the gist. Um, but thank y'all so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I will be back in a few days. I'm, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Probably do some packing videos. But y'all, I'm telling y'all, I worked on my YouTube calendar, my content calendar, and I've got so much content coming up. I am super excited about it. Um, but we're gonna be moving in two weeks. So, because, so right now, um, I'm gonna be mostly packing and organization and uh, maybe the day, couple days in the life of that kind of thing coming up. But y'all coming up, I've got really, really good content. So, hey, if, you, if you're new here, Go ahead and hit that button and subscribe to my channel. I would be so honored to have you in my family. And also for you guys who've been around since day one, y'all know y'all always have my heart already. But please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out, okay? I hope y'all have a great week. I'll be. I'll see y'all in just a few days. Alrighty, well until next time, sending all of my love from my home to yours. Happy decorating. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh,